Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Crazy Sasquatch Football Picks. The fantasy uh, players going into week five here. A little recap on week four. We were both nine and six. Before that, we were both, for the first three weeks, we were both 30 and 18. So we're still tied at 39 and 24. So 39 24, 39 24. Um, we're, we're choosing different picks, but we're still ending up with the same record. So we'll see who wins at the end of the season. So, saying that, going into week five, a um, couple things I've heard today. Um, another New England Patriots player got um, diagnosed with COVID 19. So, watch your New England Patriots, guys. See if I know Cam didn't play last week and they went ahead and played the game. Um, this is on defense. I think it was Gilmore. Um, see if they're going to play um, Tennessee Titans. Two more Titans um, came back positive results today. Watch your Titans game. Um, bye weeks are starting, so we got the Packers and Lions on bye week, week five. And with the COVID thing going on, um, we already had one bye last week. Pittsburgh and Tennessee, that game got pushed off a week, for a couple weeks. Watch your players. Watch your uh if any teams are getting pushed back because of the COVID, I said Tennessee again has two positives. Um, New England, I haven't heard any anybody else. Watch your buys, watch your COVID testing. Um, let's see if games you know are going to be played. So, um, saying that, I know some more guys got injured. I'll kind of touch on them as we go through the teams. Um, so, with that, we'll get started with game one, the Thursday night game. Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Tom Brady visiting the Chicago Bears at Chicago. Bears started Foles last week. Um, they didn't look very good. Granted, they played an Indianapolis Colts defense. It's only allowing 15 points a game. Very good defense. And they're like first and everything. Yeah, first and rush, first against the pass. So very good, very good defense there. Um, I know Tampa Bay is pretty good against the rush. Uh, you can't get a few on them in the backfield. They got a rook, kind of a young, young defensive um, line in, or defenders and the safeties and the cornerbacks. Foles is going to have to take advantage of the deeper ball up front. They're going to be coming at him. Can Bears um, front line stop that pass rush? Brady, Brady's Tom Brady. Um, granted, the Bears got a really good defense, um, so it's going to be Tom Brady. I think they're missing. One of their wide receivers, so Brady's down, plus OJ, their tight end's down. He's, I think he's done for the rest of the season. But Brady's missing a few weapons. I don't know if Fournette's playing or not. Bears are pretty healthy on their side of the ball. Granted, you know, Cone, they lost Cone, Tariq Cone a couple weeks ago, but they're looking pretty healthy. This could be a close game. I think the Bears' defense versus New England's offense is going to be fun, very fun to watch. Uh, Foles haven't, hasn't got my confidence yet. Um, he can't run like Trubisky can. I'm not saying it was a bad or good switch here, but Foles don't have the mobility as Trubisky. Uh, I hate to say it, this is the first time I'm going to choose against the Bears, but um, I know Brady don't have his full full element of, of weapons on offense, but uh, I just don't have the, the trust in Foles quite yet. Foles has got to show me some more before I can pick him against a playoff caliber team. So um, we're not doing scores. We're just going to do wins and losses. I'm picking Tampa Bay in this one. Um, so Tampa Bay, they lost one receiver, Godwin. Yeah, please. And uh, Bears win against versus Atlanta. I think the number one, number one or two offense in the league at that time. I think they're number two offense. Um, but um, they lost to number one receiver. Um, this. Uh, this week, Tampa Bay will, loses their number two receiver, number two tight end. Um, Bears only have a couple of questionable. Um, the rookie wide receiver Mooney, um, he's questionable. A couple uh, other people like Mac Hicks, uh, they're playing, but they are um, they a little banged up. Yeah, but when Bears face number one or two offense in week three. Um, they they allowed I think twenty, I mean thirty one or twenty eight. Who they play? Atlanta. Yeah. And Bears scored I think four more points than them, 
And against Tampa Bay's defense, unlike last week, which number one in everything along the stats-wise against the Colts, Tampa Bay, like the Vikings, is a lot of rookies on defense, defense except for that defensive line. That would give a few pressures to Foles. But with Foles as um, a veteran and rookies on the other side, I think Foles will... Um, Win this. I don't think they'll have any rushing touchdowns since that defensive line is good, though. Next one Carolina at Atlanta. Bridgewater pulled off a victory last week. It's starting to rush, rush some more. They're still without their number one running back yet, but uh, Mike Davis is doing good. Um, Atlanta, uh, I don't know about your Ridley. He didn't catch anything last week. He had six passes, he dropped them all. Um, Julio Jones. May not play in this one the way it sounds. He, he probably will not. So Atlanta's out some weapons. Carolina pr- pretty much has them. McCaffrey's not back, but they still have the running game pretty pretty good. Um, Bridgewater can move and rush. Atlanta's defense isn't showing much at all. Green Bay pretty much picked them apart last week. Bears came back and beat them a week before that. Until Atlanta's defense can show me any, any more. Um, it could be a close one. This could be a very close game. But I got Carolina winning again against Atlanta. Um, Atlanta, um, they're they're gonna miss one of well, Julio Jones is most likely not gonna play. Um, but they finally have a kicker. They picked up a kicker, I think Fry, right? Right. Yeah. Which he's not gonna miss ninety percent of his kicks like um, the other kicker they had, Carolina, um, without. Um, okay. McCaffrey, they still look like a good offense. Their defense looks good, but Atlanta, their defense allows like I must say, I want to say like at least twenty eight, thirty one points per game, and they score about that same amount per game. Um, but I think Carolina will win this. Matt Ryan may have a few good passes to Ridley, but if Ridley acts like last week. And drops a few. It's definitely Carolina. Cincinnati Bengals at the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens playoff caliber team. Pretty much clicking on all cylinders right now. Uh, defense is not quite what I expected to give up some points, but uh, I think they're they're going to play well enough to hold down Cincinnati. Um, Mixon's looking strong. Still got a rookie quarterback in there though. Um, I give this one to Baltimore. I think this is a pretty easy pick because Cincinnati, um, they really haven't looked. They've looked good, but not anything more than that. Baltimore on offense, they looked amazing, probably one or two best in the league right now. At Baltimore, I just think it's going to be an easy one. Jacksonville at Houston. Houston just fired their head coach. Um, there's pros and cons. People are saying good move, bad move. Um, I watched a little bit of the Houston game last week. Uh, they got to learn to pass a little bit more. You got one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Trust any. Just don't run the ball on much as they're doing. Um, Jacksonville, Minshew's looking decent. I like their uh, rookie running back. They're getting healthy on wide, wide receiver wise. Um, Houston with losing their coach. Uh, I don't know what that's going to do to them this week. There's a huge question mark there. Or Jacksonville, they know what they're coming into. So I give Jacksonville a very slight edge on this one. At Houston, Houston um, is 0-4 this year. Um, lost to the Vikings, which didn't have a good defense. Um, they lost their head coach, which gave up a top five receiver for a second round draft pick and a running back. I do think their head coach um, will do better than uh, O'Brien, right? I believe it was O'Brien to get fired, yep. He's going to do better than him because running the ball, like, almost every play is not going to get done when you have a very good quarterback that can pass, run, and do everything. So I think Houston will win this. The Raiders at Kansas City. Kansas City... Um, didn't hit quite on all cylinders last week. Granted, they played a pretty pretty tough defense, but Kansas City still came out, won it. 
Um, Kansas City is another playoff caliber team. Raiders, you got Josh Jacobs. He's going to run it. Um, Carr's not looking too bad this year. I just I don't think the Raiders got the defense to stay with Kansas City's offense. So, Kansas City. I think this could go either way, but the better of the two teams right now is the Chiefs. But I can see either of them winning. They both have good teams. Um, Kansas City's offense is uh, more explosive than the Raiders, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Raiders did win this. So here's the game to watch, guys. Uh, New England, or Denver at New England. So New England just had another positive, Gilmore. So most likely Gilmore will be out. I don't know about this overall game. If more, more of their players come back with COVID positives, this game may get delayed. Keep your eyes and ears open for this. But if it's just Gilmore... Um, I can see Cam Newton still missing another game. Usually it's a two-week isolation. He's not been quite gone that long. So Stenham, the rookie, I predict will get the start on this one against Denver. Um, Denver, I don't think you're going to have Andrew Luck quite back yet. Probably another week. Um, Andrew Luck? Or not Luck. Um, Lock, Drew Luck. Sorry, guys. Drew Luck probably be out probably another week. Um, I like their rookie quarterback. He was hitting them pretty good. The wide receivers pretty well. Um... I get, you know, losing losing some guys on defense here is going to hurt New England a little bit. A rookie quarterback, he didn't look bad, but I think to be another close game. But I, I just I just feel Denver's going to pull this one off. I, they got you know to me they got a little better running running back core that's that's healthy. Um, I give Denver this one. Slight like very close game though. It'll be fun to watch. Uh, last week, I think Denver scored 37 points. I think the Jets. But... New England definitely has a better defense than the Jets, but Cam Newton, gone. Uh, Gilmore, gone. So their defense is slightly worse. Their offense looked bad. I think they threw at least three interceptions with their two quarterbacks. So I think Denver's, Denver is going to win this one. Just in case we get Arizona at the Jets. Sounds like Sam Darnold for the Jets is out this week. Flacco will be passing. Sorry, Flacco fans. I've never been a Flacco fan. Um, I have Crowder for the Jets. He's the two the two games he, or, yeah two games that he has played has got me a lot of points. Flacco is to me is not the deep thrower like Darnold is. I'm thinking Crowder out this week. I just don't think he's going to put up the numbers with with Flacco as the quarterback. I mean, he's the number, one of my top wide receivers. I I just don't trust Flacco. Um, saying that, Arizona's got one of the weakest deep build defenses. I mean, you can pass against Arizona left and right. It's shown it week to week. Um, I don't know if Flau- I don't know Flau- Flauco. I can't even say his name. Flacco. I don't know if Flacco can. Um, do the same thing. Uh, he's never been that really deep threat quarterback. Um, I know it sounds like Le'Veon Bell's coming back this week, but I think Arizona can stop the run. It's a pass they have trouble with, and I don't think Flacco can hit the deep deep guys like Sam Darnold. Um, I hate saying I, I, I hate pulling pulling this one, but Arizona, this is a, a, a need win for them after losing a couple here. They probably shouldn't have. I think they're going to hit all, all cylinders on this one and win this one. Uh, without Sam Darnold playing, I think um, the Jets' offense will take a decrease in like yards this game, passing yards, touchdowns. Um, they lost to Denver, um, allowed 37 points. Arizona, they do have a better offense than Denver. Uh, they probably have a top five receiver, top ten quarterback. Um, they have Fitzgerald, which probably is the top in the teens, at least. But I do think uh, Arizona will win this. Philadelphia at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's coming off their bye week. It wasn't unexpected, you know, unexpected bye week, but they have a week to rest. Um, that probably didn't hurt Roethlisberger at all. Connor's coming back. Um, I think Juju Smith-Schuster is probably coming back. Um, so... I think Pittsburgh's going to be pretty 100% healthy. Philly, 
has not hit on all cylinders. Wentz is trying to do it all himself. I don't think he can. Some of his wide receivers are banged up. Uh, Miles Sanders, Pittsburgh's, you know, he's going to get his yards against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's going to slow him down a lot. That's their main weapon. I just don't see Philly pulling this one off of Pittsburgh any shape, way, or form. It's a little too long, but there you go. I get Pittsburgh to win. Pretty easy win. I think this is a pretty easy prediction. Pittsburgh has just been dominating every single game. Philadelphia, um, they looked way worse than I predicted. I think I mean, Pittsburgh will, will win throughout the game and not give the lead to Eagles unless um, first like unless it's the first score and Eagles score the rest of the game. Pittsburgh is gonna um, give the most points. This game's got me another one that's worried. Two more COVID positive tests on the Tennessee side. They had their bye week last week, but two more two more positives. Watch the watch the news next couple weeks or next couple next couple days. Today's only Wednesday, so you got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Watch, see if any more people on the Tennessee Titans come back positive. If it's just the two, they may play it. If there's more, this may, this game may be another one. It's a bye week. I have. Josh Allen, I have Singletary. It's going to hurt me big time because a couple of my big weapons on my fantasy league team. Um, so I'm, I got to watch this game really, really closely to make sure they're going to have it, or I, I'm going to be moving quarterbacks and running backs around pretty quickly. Um, saying that, if they play, Josh Allen's been playing at an all pro level. Singletary's not been doing too bad. Uh, Diggs been doing good. Buffalo's defense, I think they can stop, slow down Henry. I don't think they have enough on their offense right now to overtake Bill's defense. I give Buffalo the win if they play this game. Like I said, watch this. Watch the Tennessee headlines. See if any more players come down with COVID. This could be a, a bye week game. Buffalo, Tennessee. Tennessee has a lot of players with COVID, but um, Buffalo, I think they will. I win this game. I don't think anyone has COVID on their team, but um, Josh Allen, I think he's the number two quarterback in the league right now. I have the number one on my fantasy team, but um, their offense looks super good. They've uh, went in some games like against Dallas in a comeback win. They just have a dominant offense and uh, good defense. Tennessee losing, losing a lot of players. That's definitely going to hurt you, and I think Buffalo will win. The Rams at Washington. Washington has moved Haskins to their third string quarterback. Um, I believe the last name is Allen. He's been moved up to starting. Um, what I read from him, from him about him last year when he played, a lot of interceptions, some fumbles. He turns the ball over. Rams, Sam Darnold. I mean, some of these guys on, on defense, they're going to be after him. Um, I just can't see Washington pulling this one off and switching quarterbacks um, against a Rams dominant defensive team. So on my fantasy team, I had three quarterbacks: Russell Wilson, Haskins, and Trubisky. So far, two of them have been benched: Trubisky and Haskins. I don't think Wilson's going to get benched, but <laughs> hopefully not. It's, it's like a curse on my team. All the quarterbacks get benched, but I do think uh, Rams will win this one since. Um, the quarterback that Washington is putting in uh, didn't have preseason. Um, he's just practicing with his team. He hasn't played any game, so Rams will win this. Miami at 49ers. Um, I know 49ers didn't pull it off last week. They got Kittle back. Um, I don't think they got their number one quarterback yet, so you're probably going to see Mullins or kind of the other guy they brought in last week. But at any at any rate, um, Garoppolo, Garoppolo, I think, is still out a week. They still got Kittle. Debo Samuels is back. Um, I think they're getting a few of their running backs back. Miami, I don't think, has the... They got a decent defense. I don't think they get the defense to stop 49ers. They get probably to slow them down with not their first-string quarterback. 49ers got the defense, I think, to slow down Miami enough. Um, I'm in 49ers this one. So far... Um, Miami's looked good. What's the, what's the record? I don't know if it's up the top of my head. But, um, Maybe Jacksonville, I know that. 
Their quarterback is Fitz. Fitzgerald. Huh? Fitzgerald. And he looks good this year. Um, 49ers. Mullins didn't look good last week. Um, it's going to be a very close game, but I think Miami will win this one. And maybe by a field goal. Colts at Cleveland. Cleveland lost Chubb for probably the next six weeks, the way it sounds. Um, they still got, luckily they still got Kareem Hunt. <clears throat> Colts, heck of a defense. I mean, they stopped the Bears last week, but granted he had a different quarterback for the Bears. Um, start anyway. Uh, Cleveland's got a decent defense. Colts have got a decent offense. You got Phillip Rivers. Sounds like you got three healthy tight ends back, which is what Phillip Rivers likes. Doyle, Burton, uh, there's another one there. Um, you get a healthy running game, Jonathan Jacobs. Uh, Hines is doing good. I don't think Cleveland's got enough to pull this one off. Yeah, I mean, they had some trick plays last week, and, and with Beckham running and stuff, but this isn't Dallas. So, Colts' defense isn't Dallas' defense, guys. Um, I, I think Colts' defense is the real deal. Um, Cleveland... Losing Chubbs, they're going to have to adapt a little bit. And I don't know if they can adapt this quickly against this defense. So I'm giving I'm giving Colts a win on this one. Now, the Colts did surprise me of how good their defense was. Um, Cleveland is also, um, this is how good I thought they were going to be. A lot of people ranked them lower or much higher. But so far, the um, way it's going right now, Colts will win this one. They just have a, a very good defense, and without Cleveland's power back, um, they'll probably not get as much money, um, as much um, rushing yards. Colts, um, their offense can just manage the game and let the defense handle it, and I think they will win this. Giants at Dallas. If, if Dallas loses this one, they're, they're in a heap of trouble. Um, Giants, Barkley's gone for the year. Freeman's... They just signed Freeman for the, you know, the running back. I don't think he's quite up to 100% speed as a starting running back yet. Um, he's been with the team two weeks. Two weeks, but I, you know, you got to learn the whole playbook and everything. I just don't think Freeman will probably get start, maybe the starter. Um, I don't expect a whole lot out of him yet. Um, Dallas is more susceptible to the passing game. Um, where the Giants, they got decent passing. I think that they got a wide receiver still out. Um, Dallas has just got more weapons right now. If they can get Ezekiel Elliott the ball and do some time management, they got three top wide receivers on Dallas's team. They just got to slow down Giants' offense, and I think they can. Um, uh, I'm not a huge Dallas believer right now in their defense, but I think they got enough weapons to pull this one off. I don't think Giants can stay toe to toe with them on, on offensive scoring. The only reason I have Dallas winning this one um, is because if it um, if the Giants are forced to throw, their Daniels is going to throw touch uh, interceptions. Um, wait, Daniel Jones. Okay, then I, then I said it backwards. So Jones is going to throw a lot of interceptions, or at least one interception this game. And I think if the Dallas offense and the, uh, the Dallas defense can handle them and just uh, make them uh, score 17 or 21, anything above that, if Dallas if Dallas's defense allows more than 21 points, uh, Giants are probably going to win this. But if Dallas's defense allows less than 21 points, Dallas is winning. All right, Minnesota at Seattle. Seattle's secondary has been susceptible to a lot of passing. I think they're giving up 400 passing yards, but on the other hand, Wilson's been picking them up on offense, you know, four or five touchdowns a game. Uh, Minnesota's defense isn't what it used to be. They're giving up a lot of points. This game's going to be a shoot em out. If you got Minnesota players on offense, Seattle players on offense, get them in the games. This is going to be a high-scoring Probably almost who scores last wins type of game. There'll be some running yards, rushing yards, a lot of 
a lot of passing yards. Um, Seattle, to me, has got a little better defense, though. I think they can slow Kirk Cousins down a little bit. Um, I just see Seattle pulling this one off. I think they got a few more weapons on offense, a little more seasoned veteran team. Um, nothing against a rookie wide receiver here, uh, Justin Jefferson. I got him on my team, been putting up some nice points. Uh, Thielen's going to put up some points on this one. But I think Seattle at home is going to be a tough one to beat. I said, if you got some fantasy leaguers, I'd get them in. On these two teams, they're going to put up some points. But I think Russell Wilson's going to put up a heck of a lot of points in this one and uh, pull it off. I think this is a pretty easy prediction. Seattle, number one quarterback in the league. Number one strong safety in the league. Number one middle linebacker in the league. Um, um, Skill-wise... Um, str the strong safety m middle linebacker are the best. Uh, Skill-wise, Russell Wilson isn't the best. Skill-wise, he's probably the best in stats right now. But he's number one quarterback in the league right now. In Minnesota, their defense is not going to uh, hold on. They're probably going to at least allow 31 points this game. Um, <laughs> at least that. But... Uh, Minnesota's defense will probably score maybe 21, but not more than that because um, Seattle has the best strong safety in the league and best middle linebacker in the league to stop them. And middle linebackers are good against the run, which Minnesota's probably going to run 90% of the time because if Kirk Cousins throws, I think he still has more interceptions and touchdowns. And if he lets him throw and um, Jamal Adams just runs in front of the ball, he's going to get picked off. So I think this is a pretty easy prediction. Seattle wins. Chargers at New Orleans. Chargers rookie quarterback um, is looking pretty good. Um, so, I, you know, but New Orleans got a pretty good defense. I think they're getting healthier on defense. They pulled one off last week. On offense, I think they're still going to be without Thomas for another week. So no Thomas here. But Taquan, what's his last name? You got to win your name. Taquan Smith. Um, Emmanuel Sanders, I think they'll pick up a little bit of slack. I know Cook, they're tight end, I think maybe out again. Uh, but with Kamara going, um, Chargers are going to have to watch the pass. They're going to have to watch the run. Granted, they're good. they got a good defense. They're coming together on offense. Um, Eckler, yeah, they're running back. I think he's probably out this week, the way it sounds. So you just lost the number one running back here. They're their number one running back on their team. That's going to hurt a little bit. So... I got New Orleans winning this one. I could see this going either way. Um, yeah, this could go either way. I wouldn't be surprised if either of them won. New Orleans has been way worse than I predicted. Chargers a little better than I predicted. Or oh, actually a little worse than I predicted, but... I really don't know who overall... Want a coin? Going. Want a coin? You can flip a coin. <laughs> overall, I'm going with New Orleans because they have an overall better defense and a better team. So, and remember the Packers, you can see down here, Packers and the Lions are on bye week. So, remember that. No Aaron Rodgers, no Jones, no Stafford. Um, so, make sure you get your, get your Packers Lions out of the lineups. Watch the Tennessee, or Tennessee. What, what am I talking about? Tennessee. Yeah, that's a, that's a 51st state out there. Watch your Tennessee game. Um, with the COVID, watch the New England players. I said another one just got diagnosed. Keep an eye out. Make sure they're going to play. If not, get those players. And if they delay it like they did the last uh, last Monday night, they delayed a game by a couple days or a day, I would keep them in. If they're going to delay it a couple weeks and give them bye weeks, um, get them out. So watch your Buffalo, Tennessee game, Denver, New England. Watch those players. And I would put in all your players from the Packers and Lions. <laughs> yeah, get these, get these it's guys going to be in. a high-scoring game, at least 50 points each. <laughs> so I said watch the COVID-19. It's kind of got the NFL here, a few players here and there. Um, don't play Cam Newton yet this week. Um, so if you guys like our channel, subscribe to us. Um, the Crazy Sasquatch. Subscribe to our channel. Give us some likes. Give us some comments if you totally disagree with our picks. Um, what do you think of us? I said we just kind of play by ear. We got the schedule right in front of us here. We just write, write, the, write the teams down and go by what we thought, what we what we saw last Sunday or Thursday, Sunday, and Monday games. So um, we just kind of go with it. No editing. We just give our predictions. Have fun with it. So.
you like us, subscribe to us. Give us some comments. Thanks, guys, for watching. Until next week, stay healthy. Okay, stay healthy. I missed the...